have been super loud, but Nick Carl is the loudest person I know. <laughs> Game on, neighbors. The last time that I flew, I was flying out of Boston. I had just worked. I work in a blasting company. Went home, showered. I had dynamite on my hat from, you know, moving it around through my work day. Get to the airport. And I've got about 45 minutes before we board. I thought nothing of it. Right when I get into the security cam that has you put your arms up, it went once, went twice, and then it just went off. Did it lock you in there? No, oh, I just, I on a map, map. I would have panicked at that point. I so I'm sitting here with my arms up like this. You stayed with your arms up? <laughs> yeah. Put your arms up. Oh, I never mind. Never. <laughs> Everyone's in a panic it's now. It's funny, people, but it's not. Funny. People are freaking out. The story I'm just about. sitting in there like this sucks really bad right now. And you say people were freaking out. Like. Like they people were, were legit looking screaming. at you or no screaming? like people were like were oh legit screaming yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people thought there was something actually going on but it was just my hat Don't they all came hat. over there was like eight security tsa people and i looked at one of them and i was just like i know exactly why this is going off <laughs> i work with dynamite and then some of them kind of like sighed where they're just like oh like sigh of relief kind of thing but i still had to go into the back office but i ended up making my flight by about two minutes yesterday i got there like over two hours early but I washed that hat. You it still worked. wore yeah. that hat? You couldn't just get another hat? <laughs> On Discraft. The other one? Can you just get a Discraft hat? I just, oh, I need one. They gave me a red one last time. I literally have no red clothes that I wear. Good morning, everyone. We drove in last night and now we're in Las Vegas. It's 40 degrees on the dot. We're headed to the disc golf course, 8.35 in the morning. We're late. We're late. We came in a little bit late. I stopped at Innova West Coast and picked up some heavier discs. How are you feeling going into today? Are you tired at all? No, no, I feel good. I mean, it's really windy out here, but that's typical Vegas. Anyways, we will see you guys at the course. Yep. Yep. Sorry, I was guiding them to McDonald's. <laughs> It's going to be when I'm teeing off. time in Vegas I realized that people don't have sandboxes they have grass boxes Thanks for voting for me to finish top five at the wintertime event. I didn't let you down. Thanks for finishing top five. You're welcome. Paul, a lot of a lot of changes this off season. What's the excitement level for you coming in first big national tournament of the season? 
the excitement level is is you know off the left. We'll start. Over. It's all good. So you got your PDJ interview. How were the questions? They were pretty good. They asked me if I am affected by people's expectations, and it was hard to answer because it's like a yes and a no. I'm not affected by their expectations of me because my expectations are, you know, probably higher than anyone else's. Like, they expect me to be better now that I switch, not like just as good. Yeah. Goals to go out to win every tournament, but yeah, it's like, you know, if, if their expectations are so high, they're never going to be happy. So. Yeah. This is Shroud, and he's the man, oh. the best first person shooter ever to play video games. And, uh, and you can literally just sit on this awesome. couch and watch him. I would play. literally sit here <laughs> and I could spend wait, hours. Wait till you turn the corner. Oh. Wait, wait, let's get his reaction when he turns the corner. but with like bass. I don't know why they're even playing it because 90% of the people here have headsets on right now. <laughs> How do you like the chairs? Because you sit there for hours and become a professional. With a few Mountain Dews, I could. Right? I thought you needed to get chairs and Mountain Dews. We're following our friends. They have yet to point us in the right direction. <laughs> We've been wandering down hallways inside the Luxor and now we're in the Excalibur for way too long. Oh, elevators too. We have to take the elevator. Obviously, it's there for people. Oh, obviously, it's there for people. Because my cat's not a cannibal. 
That's why we should be on different courses. Because imagine, I mean, think about it. What if the Masters tie? Well, the Masters play a different course. Do they? I thought yeah. everyone plays Innova today. 